Hey everyone, it's been a minute since I've done a video. <clears throat> it's the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am uber duber excited um, about what I want to talk to you all about for just a quick moment. Hope that each and every Every one of you are having a super fantastic great day so um, share this video invite your followers just want to quickly talk a little bit about um, what the Lord has been sharing with me and I hope that it blesses you so <clears throat> familiar portion of scripture that says hey Francine God bless you um, Isaiah 18 uh, I'm sorry Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 for the scripture declares in the New Living Translation the King James Version says um, forget the former things but I like the New Living Translation because the New Living Translation says um forget about what happened that's in the past it says for i am about to do something new and it also says see it has already begun it has already sprung forth it says in the text <clears throat> that I will make your dry places watered. I will water your dry places. There is nothing too hard for God. So today I want to quickly just um, encourage you. Watch God do it. The text tells us, I love the New Living Translation. Hey, Miss Edie, I'm waiting for us to get together and have breakfast, lunch, or something again. Lots to talk about. Um, anyway, <clears throat> the text tells us, Isaiah is saying, Whatever happened, happened. You can't do nothing about it. You can't change it. It's time to go forward. But even though what has happened may have, you may feel some kind of way about it, God is doing something new. He says, the writer says, Watch, look, see, it's already begun. The text also tells us where Isaiah is writing that whatever God has said he was going to do it is springing forth which means it's coming to pass so what I want to say to you all today is this hair is a little cumbersome for me just like, anyway. what I want to say to you all today is is this whatever had Jamaica whatever it is that you are expecting that you're waiting for God to do Whatever you have been praying about, whatever you have been seeking about, seeking God for, whatever you've been asking, if it is his will, if it's his divine purpose, if it is um, if it is something that he wants to bring to pass in your life, I'm all over the place. Um, just know that he will perform it. He will do it. The text says, see it has already begun and what the Lord really taught me about that portion of text in Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 was this you can't see it with your physical eyes you can't see it coming to pass you can't see it happening you can't see um, whatever you've been praying about manifesting just yet but this is where your faith kicks in this is where your trust, your hope, your faith, your belief all come together. <clears throat> and you make a conscious choice to believe God. When you make a conscious decision, when you make a conscious choice to believe God, to believe his word, to believe his promise, know and understand that he will bring it to pass according to his will, his word. And his timing. Now I know you might have been praying for something for 10 years now. God do it. Lord do it. Lord 
just do it. God, I need you to do it. Lord, just do it. I need you. God, just do it. You might have been praying that. Hey, alien. You might have been praying. Share this video. Invite your followers. You might have been asking the Lord. Lord, I need to learn how to uh, drive with one hand. Because <clears throat> when I drive with two hands, I get nervous. So I want to be, you know, feel secure and be able to drive with one hand. With my right hand, God. I want to be able to control the whole vehicle with my right hand. And the Lord brings you to the place where you could drive your vehicle with one hand, with the right hand. But before you get to the place of actually being able to drive that vehicle with the right hand, you got to see it before you see it before you see it. Which means you got to see it in your in your mind. You got to see it in your spiritual eye. Believe in your heart that God is going to fulfill the request. He's going to fulfill the promise according to his word because it has to fit in his plan. Hey, Maisha. Um, and then once you you envision it, you see it in your mind. God says, I'm going to do it. You believe it in your heart. Then you will begin to then you will begin to see it. You will begin to see it manifest. You will begin to see what God has spoken come to fat to pass right before your very eyes. Now, listen here. All I can tell you is what I know. I can tell you what the text says, but I can tell you from what I know in my own life experience. If God said it, he's going to bring it to pass. There may be some delay, but don't worry. We've heard people say it and it becomes cliche now. Delay is not denial. Well, I learned this thing right here. God does not delay often. Sometimes the delay that we experience comes from our adversary, the enemy, Satan, Beelzebub, whatever you want to call him. He's got multiple names just like God has multiple names. Diablo, <laughs> whatever you want to call him. He, his imps, his demons, his cohort, all his host of hell work together to slow down the progress of God. <clears throat> You may say, how do you know that? Well, okay, the Bible says that in the book of Daniel, that Daniel prayed 21 days. He was still contending. He was still praying. He was still asking God for whatever he was asking God for. God had already sent the answer. And when God realized he saw that Daniel was still praying, he said, wait a minute. Why is Daniel still praying? I had already answered him. And so... The Bible declares that there was the the prince of Persia was holding up the answer in the air because there was he was fighting the angel who was bringing the message to Daniel. So God had to send some backup and say, go handle that. Then that angel receives relief there. The other two continue to contend in the air, in the atmosphere. And the word was released unto Daniel. So sometimes the enemy will hold up, will cause delay, will uh, delay the word, delay the promise, delay, delay, delay. I'm sick of the delay. Oh my God, I'm so sick of the delay. But that's the job of the enemy. Let me just tell you this one thing. When Satan comes in like a flood, the Bible says when the enemy like the flood the spirit of the lord will lift up a standard against him so when you see that god has promised you something and god has said i'm gonna do it i'm gonna come through just watch me work watch my hand trust my heart trust me keep going have faith when you see when you hear god say that when you see that he's doing things for you and it's all working for your good but now you it feels like things have come to a screeching hole let me just encourage you it's not God that's causing the delay. It's the enemy that is causing the, del the delay because the enemy, your adversary, Beelzebub, uh, little, little boy, Junebug, whatever you want to call him. It is it is the adversary who is stopping, who is trying to um, um, put a pause on the progress. But the Holy Spirit said to me the other day, the enemy, the, the devil can't stop anything. Whatever I have planned, it shall come to pass. It shall happen. It shall do it because my word does not fall to the ground so i just want to encourage you on today that whatever god has 
promise you, whatever God has said to you, whatever it is that he has told you he's going to do, he's going to make a way, he's going to open doors, he's going to do it, do it, do it. You got to trust, you got to believe, you got to hold fast to the horns of the altar. Keep believing that he's going to bring it to pass. Keep believing that he's going to do it. But when you start to see that there is some delay, I want you to put on get yourself in order and I want you to stand up flat footed in your house and say I declare in the name of Jesus everything that is blocking and causing a hold up in my life in my finances in my marriage in my home in my situation in my career whatever is causing some kind of blockage whatever is causing hold up I command it to be least in the name of Jesus stand up in the authority of Jesus Christ because God has given you the authority if you choose not to use your authority that's your fault I feel the Holy Spirit if you choose not to use the authority that we have through the blood of Jesus it's your fault Satan cannot stop the plan of God, but he can delay the plan by causing tricks and all these other kind of things. But this one thing I do know, I know that I have authority. I know that I can charge the angels to go ahead and do things for me. I know that I got that authority, not because somebody told me, but because I know, because the scripture tells me. And then secondly, the Lord let me know in prayer that he heard my decree and he He's moving upon my decree. That I'm a bad girl if God tells you that he's going to move according to my decree. Whatever I decreed in the earth, you a bad girl. You a bad dude if God moves upon your decree. So don't allow the enemy to stop you. Watch God work on your behalf. Just remember what the text says in Isaiah 43 and, and 18 and 19. Forget about what happened. Forget about it. It may have hurt you, may have disappointed you, might have made you sad. People might have just got on all your nerve. It just might have set you back a little bit. But the word of God tells us that, look, I have begun a new thing. I'm starting something new in you. I'm planting something new. It's going to spring forth. It's going to come up. It's going to bubble up out of you. Don't you see it? That's what the text says. Don't you see it? If you don't believe that God's going to work on your behalf, if you still praying 10 years later and you haven't seen not one ounce of manifestation to your prayers, then there's something wrong with your prayer life. Somewhere along the way, you are not completely connected. There's an interruption in your connection. You know, when I was a kid, we still had telephones that was connected to the wall with the little squiggly wires and, you know. Now everything is, you know, hands free and wire free, wireless. But when I was a kid, this is before call waiting came about. We didn't have call waiting. I think my dad was a little cheap. <laughs> but I was on the phone talking to one of my little friends. I was in elementary school, child, talking about going to see Michael Jackson. And my my mom, my dad was trying to call the house, but every time he called the house, the line was busy. So in the midst of my conversation, the operator came in through the line and said, hi, I'm uh, your father is trying to call. So can you hang up so your father can uh, speak to your mother? I was like, it scared the living crap out of me. I was like, oh, my God, how did she do that? Well, let me just tell you this one thing. If the enemy tries to if the enemy is interrupting your flow of conversation just like the operator interrupted my flow of conversation with my little friend talking about michael jackson don't be startled don't be startled just say oh really <laughs> okay and keep moving because that's what the enemy wants to do he wants to interrupt he wants to disrupt he wants to stop the flow he wants to block um i'm doing a study on the word block because now god is, is teaching me how to block things in the spirit how to block them with the blood how to block them with prayers and the word block uh means to stop to cause uh um to 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 build a dam it also it means uh to um create uh, uh, 
what's the word I'm trying to use it there's a particular synonym that I'm looking for but it means to just stop it call it means to to hinder and so that's what we want to do is we want to hinder the plans of the enemy with our prayers we want to hinder the word that the enemy has spoken concerning whatever God has said to you if God say he do it and the enemy is doing everything he can to interrupt the plan that God has decided for your life and you allow him to succeed there's something wrong with your prayer life there's something wrong with your commitment and faith why because the enemy should not be able to penetrate your prayer life the enemy should not be able to penetrate what God said when the enemy comes in like a flood and he start talking that foolishness and saying that God's not gonna do this and he he don't forgot about you and this ain't gonna happen and that ain't gonna happen let me tell you what you do you tell him get behind me i rebuke you i block you in the name of jesus uh, the blood is against you you have no authority you have no power you have no say so in my life because the text tells me that god said he was doing a new thing and it has begun it shall spring forth and it will come to pass in jesus name what can the enemy do he can't do nothing he can't fight the word because he knows the word and if you are firm in your authority you firm in your foundation then what spar off of him keep coming back with the word of god because that's all that matters you shut the enemy down with the word of god most importantly you trust god you watch him work you watch him move on your behalf regardless of whatever it looks like just know that isaiah 43 tells us that he will do a new thing you will see you know king james version talks in pants tense <laughs> Well, no, actually, King James Version talks in present, talks in the uh, future tense, says, I will do. But I love the New Living Translation that it says, I have already done something new. So it's already done. His promise is already fulfilled. He's not slacking his promise. He is, he, his word is yes, amen, so be it, so it is, so shall it be in Jesus' name. So, I hope this word encourages you. I hope you, that it helps you to move harder, push harder, pray harder, seek God with all that you have because he loves you. He has great things in store for you. You like this little jewelry I got on? Yes, honey. Yes. I could get you get you the hookup. This necklace and earring set is five bucks. You could purchase it from me. <laughs> Yes, you can visit my uh, website, um, um, paparazziaccessory.com forward slash uh, 52172. And I'll even post it in here so you can purchase this lovely set. It's in gold and in silver. Hallelujah. So, anywho, I pray that you're blessed. I pray that your life is blessed. I pray this word blesses you, that it keeps you, it encourages you, and it pushes you to do all that God has called you to do. Until then, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continuously be in my mouth and know that you have authority and power to block, B-L-O-C-K, the works of the enemy. Have a great day. God bless.